Y'all see that photo right there? That's that man out of Duke University. Reigning rookie of the year. Paulo Banquero, 2023. I knew he deserved to be the number one overall pick. I knew he was going to be rookie of the year, and he made me look like a prophet, handling his business the way that he did. Appreciate this man showing up on the NBA in Stephen A's world. Paulo Banquero of the Orlando Magic is with us. What's up, man? How are you? How's everything? What's up, man? Man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good watching these playoffs. Just taking it all in. How does it feel? to be the rookie of the year. What was it like when you when you learned you got that honor? Yeah, it felt great. I mean, it was a it was an award that, you know, I wanted to win. Um, but it was something that I just wanted to let naturally happen and just wanted to, you know, have a great season uh, with the team. And, um, you know, I ended up winning the award and, you know, everything worked out how it was supposed to. What was your experience like your rookie year? What did you learn in your first year about the NBA game that you didn't know when you first arrived? Yeah, no, I learned a lot this year on, off the court. Uh, you know, I was, I was taught a lot by, you know, coaches and, and teammates. You know, they showed me a lot that I didn't know. But I think really, I just realized how hard the NBA is. Um, you know, every night you got to be able to try and replicate the you know, best effort and uh, bring it you know, against the best players in the world. And, you know, I think I did a good job of that. But at the same time, it was tough just, you know, going against that level of competition night in, night out. Talk to me about what it's like, what it was like for you in the two games you won against Nikola Jokic, because obviously y'all were one and one in games against them this year. But being on the court with this guy, these guys that are in the Western Conference Finals, up 10 on the Lakers with 10.57 left in the first half, what was it like going against those guys and specifically him? Yeah, nah, it, it was a great challenge. Uh, the first time we played them in Denver, you know, I think we were up four or five with a minute left, and, and we thought we had them, and they kind of just walked us down, and Jokic hit a step back three and, uh, <laughs> and, and took us home. And that kind of just – I was right under the rim, watched the ball go in, and I just remember thinking, like, wow, like, the whole game, he was just so steady. Never, he never pressed. You know, he got his teammates involved. And, you know, when it when the time came, when it was clutch time, he stepped up and, uh, and, and delivered a, a great shot. And so that was my first experience playing against him. And uh, we were able to beat him when they came to Orlando. So that was that was nice. But uh, not, they're a great team. Um, I think they're well built around a star player. And uh, I think, you know, they got a chance. You know, I think everyone's kind of counting them out. But, you know, I think this series is, uh, is up for grabs. Well. I don't think anybody's counting them out right now because we know they're the number one seed, their team to be reckoned with. Can't sleep on them at all. Let's get back to you for a second. 22 points per game, 43% shooting from three-point range, 6.9 rebounds per game, nearly four assists. When you look at your game now and how it's evolved in your rookie year, what do you believe you've got in your arsenal now that you didn't have when you first arrived? Yeah, um, I think... Right now, I've, I've become a much better shooter, um, you know, since the season's ended. I think I finished the season shooting the ball really well, and I think it's carried over, you know, so far through the offseason. And, you know, shooting is kind of the main thing I think people would say I need to work on. And, um, you know, I, I'm excited for next year to be able to, you know, prove myself as a shooter. And Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.